These are your Harvard University Top 5 Plays of the Week. At number 5, men's ice hockey. In the first period of Harvard's 3-3 tie at Princeton, sophomore Jack Drury threaded the needle with a beautiful cross-ice feed to classmate Casey Dornbach. Dornbach found the back of the net to give the Crimson an early lead. Drury, in his return from Team USA in the World Junior Tournament, reported two assists against the Tigers. At number 4, men's basketball. After a UC Irvine bucket, Harvard got the ball up the court and Christian Juzang wasted little time in crossing over his defender, getting the anteater to bite on his dribble right, then going left for the pull-up triple. Juzang finished the game with a team-high 15 points, leading the Crimson to its sixth straight victory. At number three, women's basketball. Approaching halftime against Rhode Island, Tess Sussman blocked his shot. Maggie McCarthy stole the ball to dribble up court and feed it to senior co-captain Mackenzie Barda on the wing for the three. Barda went on to hit a career-high four triples and lead the Crimson to a come-from-behind overtime win over Rhode Island, 61-58. At number two, men's basketball. With Harvard nursing a three-point lead with four minutes to play at San Francisco, Rio Haskett fed Chris Ledlam in the corner, and the first year took off from the block to throw down a dunk over the USF defender. The Crimson went on to win the game in overtime and have won six straight games heading into Ivy League play. At number one, women's hockey. Harvard took a 3-0 lead against ninth-ranked Boston College midway through the first period when Courtney Highland made a spinning pass to Becca Gilmore. She fed the puck to Cat Hughes for the 1-2-3 score. The Crimson went on to beat the Eagles 7-1 for its second victory over a top-10 team this season. That's it for this week's Top 5 Plays. Check out the Ivy League on ESPN for more live and on-demand content.